A little girl battling a life-threatening medical diagnosis has her spirits lifted as the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office makes her a detective for the day. Our South Bay reporter Jesse Gary has her story now from Morgan Hill. I'm gonna put this on your shirt. Thursday morning, eight-year-old Aubrey Silver arrives to temporarily join the team at the Santa Clara County Justice Training Center. The youngster, outfitted with a vest, camera, tiara, and glasses, lent her talents to find a faux suspect hiding somewhere on the ground. You went in there. I like a lot. Can you believe that all these people did all of this for you? Yeah. How does that make you feel? Good. Why? Because I'm glad people care about me. Aubrey's journey to law enforcement begins with a chance encounter three years ago, watching the sheriff's canine unit at work. Her mother, Catherine Silva. So we came into today thinking it was just a part of a training exercise, and here we are in tears. <laughs> now for the story behind those tears. Aubrey has suffered from medical complications, including a head tumor that was removed but has since regrown. The mass is affecting vision in one of her eyes. Aubrey undergoes surgery Friday, her 19th surgery in just eight years of life. Going through surgery for a tumor that's regrown, um, it's not easy. It's not an easy thing at all. Doctors believing positive mind could equal a positive outcome want Aubrey in a good emotional place pre-surgery. That's where the sheriff's canine unit comes in. Knowing of her connection with the four-legged sleuths, they set up this mock investigation, pursuit and capture. She was her own uh, detective. She solved the case to find a missing dress and slippers. And at the end of the day, she caught the bad guy. It's all about the community, how we can best serve our community. With the alleged thief behind bars, right. there was one more jolt to position cuts. Aubrey in a positive right, frame go. to face surgery. An all-expense-paid trip to Disneyland. I can see all my favorite Disney princesses. Who's your favorite one? Mm -hmm. Tiana. At the end of the day, uh, Aubrey and her family deserve, deserve this, and so I'm glad we were able to pull this together. This is definitely going to lighten the load of everything, looking forward to something after the fact. Perhaps in a few years, this day's efforts will lead her down a path to help others facing some of life's greatest challenges. Thank you. In Morgan Hill, Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News.